In the previous unit, we delineated sub-basins for Cedar Creek watershed. In this unit, we are going to delineate hydrologic response units. In SWOT, hydrologic response units represents a unique combination of soil, land use, and slope. So what we are going to do is we are going to use soil, land use, and topography data to create hydrologic response units. So click on create HRUs. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to load our land use map. So this is the T file cedar underscore LU. Next, we are going to load the soil map. So this is cedar underscore soil. Our soil data set is stats go to, so we will pick this option. So unlike user soil and stats go for which you will need a lookup table, for sergo and stats go to, we do not need a lookup table with QSWAT. We are going to generate a shape file, so we will click this option. And then we are going to provide some band for slope. So you, you can read the text here that says enter a slope percent value to be a new boundary between slope bands. So Cedar Creek watershed is a flat area, so we don't need too many bands. So let's say the slope starts at zero. If, if I enter 10 and say insert, what will happen is we will have two bands. The first band is from 0 to 10 and then 10 to 9999. So we have two bands. If I insert 20, so now I have three bands, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, and then 20 and above. If I insert one more 30, I have 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and 30 and above. Since this is a flat area, we can stop here. If you want, you can add more bands depending on the topography. Next, we are going to pick UCSV file for land use table and then hit read. And then it will ask us for that CSV file which we have say open so it is reading the cedar underscore lu grid cedar underscore soil grid and then also reading the slope information from topography So once that process is complete, now we are going to create the HRUs. So we are going to use the filter by land use soil slope option. And we are just going to use 10% for land use. Then push the go button. Then use 10% for soil. Hit the go button. Then use 10% for slope and then say create HRUs. After the HRUs are created, you can use the select report to view and you can view the HRU report. And this is what you will see. So you can see how the land use, soil and slope are combined to create different HRUs. So we created these bands for slope 0 to 10, 10 to 20. And then this basically shows how much area was associated with each band. So you can see we are in a very flat area. So we don't really have anything about 20. 
and then same with soil and land use. Okay, so we have number of HRUs equal to 97, subbasin 17, and then all the information about land use, soil, and slope for each HRU. So this is it for this unit. So as you can see, after we created HRUs, second step is done. Now step three is to create and edit input data and run SWOT which we will do in the next unit. So this is it for this unit. Save your project.